stranger. I didn't see you come through this gate. And? And the guards on the other gate have orders not to let any unknown persons into the city. Well... I shall have to have a word with those two. But now for us two. I am Lothar. Paladin of the King and humble servant of Innos. Your lord. Our commander, Lord Hagen has entrusted me with the task of explaining to all newcomers the new laws which apply to all inhabitants of the city. Since people have started simply vanishing all over this town, everyone needs to watch out that they don't suffer the same fate. No better off myself. You didn't get that from me. All right. Explain the rules of the city to me. First, the honorable paladin, Lord Hagen, resides in the upper quarter, along with his troops. That is why access to the upper quarters allows only to honorable citizens. Second, the town hall in the upper quarter is now the command post of the paladins. Only the paladins themselves and members of the militia have access to it. And third, whoever is accused of a crime must exonerate himself with the commander of the militia. Any questions? How do I become a citizen of the town? Only those with regular jobs will be considered citizens of the town. But don't think that you'll be admitted to Lord Hagen just because you're a citizen of the town. As a citizen, you have access to the upper quarter, nothing more. Only as a member of the militia will you have access to the town hall. How do I get to the upper quarter? Say, are you listening to me at all? You're not a citizen of this town. You can save yourself the trip. The guards won't let you in. The entire area behind the inner gate is off limits to you. How do I get accepted into the militia? By express command of Lord Hagen, only citizens of the town will be admitted into the militia. I see. If you want to know more, speak to Lord Andre in the barracks. What do I have to do to get armor like yours? What? You aren't even a member of the militia. You're not even a citizen. How can you even think of being allowed to wear the armor of a paladin? Only a few militia soldiers, those who have performed extraordinary deeds, have been granted that honor so far. If you want to be a paladin, you have a long road ahead of you. Where can I find the commander of the city guard? Lord Andre can be found in the barracks at the other end of the city. There's nothing we can do about it. Where can I spend the night here? If you're looking for a place to sleep, go to the hotel directly across from the barracks. The paladins pay for the lodging of all travelers who come to the city. The traveling traders from the marketplace are also lodged there. Where can I find work? You'll have to apply as an apprentice to one of the masters here in the lower part of the city. As soon as a master accepts you, you are a citizen of the town. Don't tell me you However, the other masters must agree to it. That's the custom here in Corinth. If you were thinking about looking for work in the Harvard district, forget it. The scum of the city live there. Don't even go there. You would regret it. People are simply disappearing? Yes, it seems to be more every day. It's most annoying that the militia have still not been able to discover what's behind these strange occurrences. Small wonder that the town's inhabitants are very wary of strangers right now. So don't provoke them when you're in town. Understood. I have an important message for the leader of the Paladins. The Honorable Lord Hagen is not receiving anyone. Lord Andre, the commander of the city guard, is responsible for all issues pertaining to the common folk. That was obvious all along. Listen, the city is threatened by dragons. That can't be true. Another lunatic. We have enough unrest in the city as it is. And without some dimwit scaring people with fairy tales about dragons, I immediately locked up the last person who was here telling dragon tales and sent him to the Valley of Mines with the prison transport. So mind your tongue. 
We can't use anyone here who spreads panic among the people. Somebody already reported the dragons here? Yes. The fellow's name was Diego. I think so, in any case. I warned him, just like you. But the lunatic just wouldn't stop getting on my nerves. I have come to get the Eye of Inos. The Sacred Eye of Inos? How do you know about that? You're not a member of the Order. A magician told me about it. I don't know what his motives were when he entrusted one of the secrets of our order to you. But he certainly didn't mean for you to get your fingers on it. But I don't want to hear any more about it. First you start with fairy tales about dragons, and then this. Incredible. I've got to go. If I hear one more time that you are telling people here about dragons, you will be in big trouble. Do I make myself clear? Wait a minute. You can talk to Lord Andre about everything else. gold as I do, you wouldn't have to work either. But you'll never be that rich. I see I'm gonna have lots of fun with you. I asked you who you are. I am Valentino the Handsome. Bon vivant and ladies man. Poor in cares, rich in wisdom and gold, and the women throw themselves at me. If you have problems, keep them. I don't need them. Do you have anything else to tell me? Make yourself popular. Never promise anything to anyone. Take what you can and watch out that you don't get into a quarrel with the militia. Or with jealous husbands, of course. They're the worst, let me tell you. Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you some manners. Doesn't matter to me. Thrash me all you want. When I get up tomorrow, I'll be fine again. But you'll have to run around with that mug of yours for life. Do you have anything else to- I've told you everything you need to know. The rest is up to you. Halt! Only the citizens of the town and the king's troops can get into the upper end of the town. Couldn't we make an exception? There are rules in this town. Rules that apply to everyone without exception. If we let you break those rules, it would be unfair towards all those who obey them. I'm a respected citizen of Corinus. Let me pass. You are the dirt under my fingernails. Make yourself scarce. Stopped. Who knows what he's plotting? There's something fishy going on. What's interesting in this town? You can buy almost anything you can imagine here, either from the merchants in the marketplace or in the lower part of the city. But almost everything that you can buy also costs a bit. If you don't have enough money, then maybe Lamar, the money lender, can help you. His house is at the beginning of the harbor district, as you come from the lower part of town. Who are the important figures around here? <laughs> Up until recently, it was the governor and the judge. But then the paladins came and took over the city. Lord Hagen is their leader. He's the new governor, more or less. Lord Andre is his right-hand man. He leads the city guard and acts as a judge as well. Everyone in the city who's guilty of something has to answer to him. How 
can I become a citizen of this town? Go look for a decent job. Everyone who has a set occupation in Corinthus counts as a citizen of the town. What can you tell me about this area? You are now in the lower part of town. Where do you want to go? Thanks, that's all I wanted to know. Stranger, you must be hungry and thirsty. Perhaps I can interest you in my wares. I was actually on my way to see the Paladins. There's little chance of that. Since the Paladins made themselves at home in the upper end of town, hardly anyone gets in there anymore. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? Me? No. Nah, I don't have much say here myself. There are a few people in the lower city who have enough influence to get you past the guards. Mateo, my boss, is one of them. Maybe you should talk to him. Where can I find Mateo? You're standing right outside his shop. Just go on in. He's practically always there. What about the other influential citizens? The merchants and master craftsmen here on the main street are the most important figures in the city. You should try to get accepted by one of them as an apprentice like me. Since I started working for Mateo, the people in the city treat me with respect. I need some money, and I'm looking for work. I've heard that Bosper has trouble with his suppliers. The shop is right over there. They say he pays pretty well. What do you have to offer? At the moment, I don't have much choice. The damned landowner doesn't deliver anymore. And what we get from the small farms isn't enough to meet the demands of the city. Tell me more about the peasants' revolt. It's quite simple. Onar, the fat landowner, won't pay any more taxes to the city. Imagine, we're at war with the orcs, and that fat slob wants everything for himself. Normally, the city guard would take firm measures in such cases. But now comes the best part. They say Onar has hired mercenaries to keep the troops from the city off his back. Mercenaries. The whole thing will end in a damn war as if one war weren't enough. What do you know about Onar's mercenaries? I heard that most of them are former convicts from the mining colony, and their leader is supposed to have been a big shot with the king, a general or something, whom they put away as a traitor. These are terrible times. Show me your wares. to the storeroom. The Honorable Lord Hagen has confiscated the goods for the King's army. Why can't anyone enter the Honorable Lord? What can I do for you? What are you selling? 
I can offer you everything you need to survive in the wild. Weapons, torches, provisions, even armor. I still have a special piece in stock. Double hardened armor of snapper leather, still unused. Interested? What do you know about paladins? Since these bastards had come to the city, I've had nothing but trouble. The last time I was headed for the upper end of town, the guards flat out stopped me and asked me what was my business there. And? Of course they let me in. I had my shop in the city when most of those pompous asses were still chasing pigs with wooden swords. And yesterday, the bastards came and confiscated half of my goods. The paladins seized your goods. Everything I had stored in the backyard. They simply posted a guard in front of the entrance to the yard. If I'm lucky, they won't take everything. At least they might leave the armor here. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? What? What are you going to do there? I've got an important message. Well, well. Have you tried getting past the guards? Oh, man, forget it. <laughs> That's typical of those beggars. I don't know how important your message is, and it's none of my business. But even if you told them that a ship full of orcs just anchored in the harbor, they'd send you away, because they have their orders. So can you help me get into the upper quarter? It seems to be really important to you. The question is, how important is it to you? What are you getting at? I can help you. After all, I'm one of the most influential people here, but it'll cost you. What are you asking for your help? 100 gold pieces. That's a whole damn lot. Take it easy. It isn't your gold I have in mind. But... In principle, it's my gold. Britta, the carpenter's niece, hasn't paid what she owes me in ages. But the little brat is constantly running around in new clothes. That means she has the money. I'd like to beat it out of her. But Master Thorben, the carpenter, is also a very influential man. Get me the money and I'll help you. Where can I find this Gritta? Like I said, she's the carpenter's niece. His house is down the street, the last house on the right before the smithy. How exactly can you help me? Quite simple. I'll use my influence to see to it that one of the master craftsmen here takes you on as an apprentice. As such, you'll practically be a citizen of the city and can enter the upper quarter. Besides which, you'll earn something while you're at it. Help me sign on as an apprentice with one of the masters. One thing at a time. First, fulfill your part of the deal and bring me the gold. Where could I sign on as an apprentice, then? Basically, with any master here on the main street. That would be Harrod the Smith, Bosper the Bowmaker, Thorben the Carpenter, or Constantino the Alchemist. One of them is bound to take you on. But it's important that the other masters agree. That's always been the custom here in Corinus. How do I get the approval of the other masters? You just have to convince them. Go and talk to them. But if more than one of them is against you, you don't stand a chance, so behave yourself. Why don't you take me on as an apprentice? I would, but the other masters wouldn't agree. I just recently took on another apprentice. Is there another way to get into the upper quarter? Perhaps. If I think of anything, I'll let you know. Show me your wares. Help me some one thing at a time. And what about you? I've come from the mainland, and now I'm hanging around here. I'm almost out of gold, so all I can do now is join the militia, I guess. But I don't want to do that. I won't 
be slaughtered by those orcs on the king's behalf. That's not what, that's what I've got my own opinion about. That. What can you tell me about the militia? One of the paladins has taken command. A certain Lord Andre. He's trying to mobilize half the city in case the orcs attack. But you need to be a citizen of the town in order to be admitted. As far as I know, if you're not a citizen, you can train anyway, but you won't be officially admitted. What else can you tell me about Lord Andre? He has taken over the position of judge as well. If you cause any trouble in this town, you're gonna have to answer to him. I was once in a brawl with a citizen. He went crying to Lord Andre and ratted me out. That little matter cost me 50 gold pieces. I was lucky that it happened at night, or others would have witnessed it. The more people complain about you in this town, the higher your penalty will be. Who did you fight with? With a fellow named Valentino. He often hangs out in the tavern near the temple. I'm not usually a violent person, but that guy needed his face rearranged in the worst way. Has anything exciting happened? You could say that. They robbed Bosper the Bowmaker. What a brazen thing to do, I tell you. The fellow just ambled into the shop in broad daylight and grabbed himself a bow. And Bosper right after him, hollering, Stop right there, you rogue! But the thief was too fast. Has anything exciting happened? Oh well, all's quiet. I suppose that when the orcs come, you can't fail to notice. to my shop, stranger. I am Bosper. I craft bows and trade in furs. Uh, what brings you to Corinus? I need to get into the upper quarter. Where the paladins are? Forget it. You need to be a respected citizen here, or at least hold a decent job. As a stranger, you stand no chance of getting in. So I noticed. I've heard that someone stole from you. Who told you that? Probably Bartok, huh? Didn't he have anything better to tell you? Oh, well. Let me tell you, if I get hold of this bastard, he can say his prayers. I left the shop for only a moment. When I came back, I could only just see him leave with my bow on his shoulder. I called the guards right away, but the lowlife ran towards the harbor, and they lost him there. I lit a bonfire under their asses then, and they searched the entire harbor district. But they didn't find a thing. Those bumbling lackeys. I bet my bow is still in town somewhere. I informed the guards on both city gates, and they haven't seen anyone leave with my bow. When I get my hands on that bastard. I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. The last one just gave up his job two days ago. Do you know anything about hunting, then? Well... I could teach you how to skin animals. I'll pay you well for every skin you bring me. Why did your apprentice give up his job? All he said was that it had become too dangerous out there. If you're really interested, then you can ask him yourself. His name is Bartok. He's probably hanging out near Corrigan's Tavern. Go through the underpass from the smithy, then you're headed straight for it. I want to start as your apprentice. Before I take you on, I need to know, of course, whether you're any good at all. Thank you. 
What do you want me to do for you? I will teach you how to skin an animal, and you will bring me, let's say, half a dozen wolf skins. Then I'll know that you have learned your trade. If it doesn't take you forever, and if the skins are in acceptable condition, I will take you on if you like. Teach me how to skin animals. Right. Listen, it's quite easy, really. You take a sharp blade and cut open the animal's belly. Then make a few small incisions on the inside of the legs, and you can peel off the skin. Bring me the wolf skins and we shall see. I want to start as Europe. Before I take you on, I need to know of course. What if I want to sign on with one of the other masters? Uh, Balderdash. Harrod and Matteo already have apprentices. Constantino the Alchemist is a loner, and he hasn't taken an apprentice in years. And as for Thorben, everyone knows he's dead broke. He probably couldn't even pay it. I, on the other hand, have an urgent need of an apprentice, and I pay well, too. But no matter where you want to sign on, you need the approval of all other masters from the lower part of town. Will I get your approval to sign up with a different master? Uh, all right, you shall have my approval, but on one condition. Work for me, at least for a short time. That way, you can find out for yourself whether you like my craft or not. And who knows? Maybe you'll end up liking it, and you'll stay with me. If you're good enough to sign on with me, you're also good enough for all others here. About the wolf skins. We had agreed on half a dozen, but you've still got time. Go and get those skins. Show me your wares. Hey. What's new? I hope the militia will finally find out why the population of Corinus keeps shrinking. You have to fear for your life when you hear that so many have already gone missing. What interesting things are there to see here? There are all kinds of goods on display in the marketplace. are you? This is not a good time for travelers. Bandits everywhere. No work and now the farmers have risen up too. What winds have blown you here? I've come about Britta. My niece? What's your business with her? This isn't about money, is it? She owes 100 gold pieces to the merchant Matteo. Tell me this isn't true. Ever since that little piece of work moved in with me, I've had nothing but trouble. She's in debt with practically every single merchant in town. I had to borrow 200 gold pieces from Lamar, the money lender, just to settle her debts. And now this. Greta should be in the house. Go ahead, ask her. But I tell you this, she doesn't have a single gold piece. We shall see. What do you know about the Paladins? Not much. They arrived by ship two weeks ago from the mainland. Since then, they've withdrawn to the upper end of town. Nobody here really knows exactly why they have come. Many are afraid of an attack by the orcs. I suppose, however, that they are here to quell the farmer's rebellion. Do you know anything about the Peasants' Rebellion? Rumor has it that Onar, the landowner, has hired mercenaries to keep the king's troops from breathing down his neck. He was probably tired of having to throw his harvest along with his livestock at paladins and militia. All we notice of this in town is that the food prices keep rising. 
Onar's farm lies far to the east of here. We wouldn't know if there's any fighting going on there. And if you want to know more, ask the merchants in the marketplace. They get around the island more than I do. I'm looking for work. Do you know anything about carpentry? The only thing I can make out of wood is a fire. And what about locks? Well... I'm sorry, but I can't use you if you know nothing about my trade. And I have no money to pay for an apprentice. What if I want to start an apprenticeship with one of the other masters here? All right, I shall give you my approval. But you had better get yourself the blessing of the gods first. Say, are you a man of faith? Well, if you mean, do I say my prayers regularly? I see. A man who does not ply his trade with the blessing of the gods will never receive my approval. Ask for the gods' forgiveness for your transgressions. Then go to Vatras, the priest of Adenos, and have him give you his blessing. He will tell you where you can find a priest of Inos. You should get his blessing, too. Once you have received the blessing of the gods, I shall vote for you. How about your approval, Master? Has Vatras given you his blessing? Not yet. Then I don't know why you're asking me again. You know my terms. Have you had an apprentice before? Yes, and not too long ago. And what happened? His name is Eldridge. He's my nephew. I was quite pleased with him, actually, but one day he simply didn't show up for work. Where is Elvridge now? How would I know? He kept hanging around that filthy brothel by the harbor. I wouldn't be surprised if he's still warming the bed of some whore down there. How long has it been since you saw him? I guess it must be about two weeks. Have you reported that to the militia? Of course I have. They were supposed to catch him and see to it that the Lazy Bones does his work. But I already regret that. He can do whatever he wants. Sooner or later, he'll realize he'll get nowhere in Corinus without a decent job. Is that so? So, you know a lot about locks. What good is a fine chest without a fine lock? I make my own locks that way. I can at least be sure I haven't built my chest that sturdy for nothing. A poorly made lock is easy to break. And there are plenty of thieves about in Corinus, especially lately. Can you teach me how to pick locks? I don't know whether you can be trusted or not. For all I know, you might be one of those layabouts who only come to town to empty the chests of honest people. I'm not going to teach you anything before I'm convinced that you're an honest fellow. Can you sell me some lockpicks? Well, all right, but they won't be of any use to you as long as you don't know how they work. Master Harrod's apprentice. What's it like to be the Smith's apprentice? Why do you ask? You want to be my successor? Maybe. Why not? I'm almost done with my apprenticeship, and then I'm going to leave the city. But not because of Harrod. He is a good master. I have learned a lot from him. 
Why do you want to leave this town? Because the people here are getting on my nerves, above all the other masters. I still remember what a fuss it was getting accepted as an apprentice with Harrod. Really, every one of them jokers had something to say about it. I want to decide for myself who I can or can't take as an apprentice. Who are the other masters? Well, there's Thorben the Carpenter, Bosper the Bowmaker, Constantino the Alchemist, and Matteo. He sells armor, but first of all, he's a merchant. All the masters have their houses here on the street, and Constantino's shop is in the underpass to the temple. Tell me more about Master Harad. He's not in a very good mood right now. A few days ago, the paladins came and ordered him to forge some swords for them. They've even forbidden him to sell swords to anyone else. Now he slaves day and night to finish the job as quickly as possible. Can I buy weapons from you? Not really. I'm merely an assistant. The weapons that are made in this smithy are collected by the militia and taken to the towers where they're stored. But if it has anything to do with forging, maybe I can help you. What can I get from you? I can sell you some steel billets. Hey, you! Do you sell weapons too? Forget it. Everything I make goes to the paladins or the militia. I have a commission for 100 swords from Lord Hagen. He wants to equip the city guard. I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. Brian will have finished his apprenticeship soon, and then he'll leave the city. Are you good for anything? If you mean, do I know blacksmith's work? No, that's not what I meant. Sooner or later, the orcs are going to lay siege to the city. And then the only men who will count will be those who are in a position to defend our city. And I won't take on anyone as an apprentice who will disgrace me by fleeing the city with the women and the good-for-nothings, instead of holding the fort here with the men. I'm not a good-for-nothing. Those are big words. Can you back them up with big deeds? What are you getting at? Bring me an orc's weapon. Orcs have been seen near the city. With a bit of luck, you won't have to search for long. If you manage to bring one down, I'll take you on as an apprentice, provided the other masters agree. Let's talk again about that orc thing. What? An orc is a damn tough opponent. much meat on your bones, but that can change. Nevertheless, you have to prove to me that you have the courage to fight. So, couldn't it be something slightly smaller? Hmm. Hakon, the weapons dealer in the marketplace, told me that he was attacked by bandits a few days ago. The bastards are said to be roaming around somewhere outside the East Gate. Those cowardly rogues shouldn't be terribly bright. Not the bastards now. Every single one of them. Then I'll know that we can use you here in the city. When can I start as your apprentice? Not before you've proven to me that you're good for something. Can I sign on as an apprentice with a different master? The other masters may well approve, but I will only give you my approval when you first prove that you're good for something. Hey, you! What can I get? I can sell you some... What with?
not with. You've got no business being here. You're not quite as stupid as you look. Hey, you. What do you want, stranger? If you've come to beg, I must disappoint you. I am a poor widow. My name is Greta. Ever since my husband died, I have been running the household for my uncle Thorobin. How's it going? Same as always, but I don't want to complain. Mateo sent me. You still owe him some gold. He wants his money? What for? The goods he delivered were flawed, bad fabric, and bad seams. And did you look at the colors? Those are not the colors I ordered. That's fraud, that is. Let me tell you, back when my husband was alive, he wouldn't have dared to do that. Oh, my poor husband. Such a good man he was. Handsome, hardworking, a gentleman of the old school. We had it all. Wealth, happiness, Sometimes we were even invited to high society events. The festivities, all the beautiful clothes and hairdos, the fine dining and civilized conversations. Everything was better back then. No one would have dared to humiliate the heart of a poor widow with such ridiculous claims. Whatever shall I do? My pension is barely enough to make ends meet, and times are getting even rougher. One sees it everywhere. People must scrimp and save. It's been weeks since the last ship came to town. My husband was the captain of a merchant ship. Actually, he even owned the ship. From his long journeys, he always brought me presents. Exquisite fabrics from the mainland. Precious spices from the southern countries. Most people haven't even heard of these things. But then, one day, I got the tidings that the Gritta had sunk. That was the name of the ship. My husband called it that out of love for me. I wept and prayed that my husband had survived the disaster. Every day I hoped to hear from him, but all my longing was in vain. May Innes have mercy on his soul. May he rest in peace. Since that time, I have been living under these modest circumstances. And now this soulless, callous Mateo is after the last bit of my life savings. Please have mercy on a poor woman. Back when my husband was alive, he wouldn't have dared to do that. Oh, my poor husband. Such a good man he was. Handsome, hardworking, a gentleman of the old school. We had it all. Well, sometimes we were even of the fine dumb. Cut it out. Where's the gold? But I don't have the gold. I'm only a poor widow.
then we'll simply sell a few of your togs. I'm sure you've still got a bunch of stuff in your closet. How dare you! Uncouth lout! All right, here, take the gold. See, that wasn't so hard. And now will you please leave my house? What else do you want? You've got my gold. Go away. Hey, you, wait. Uh, you look familiar to me. What do you want? I've seen your face before somewhere, right? Here. We found this picture on some bandits we picked up a few days ago. It looks a lot like you. Apparently, those guys were looking for you. Gee, I'd never have thought of that myself. Very funny. What did those guys want from you? Ask them yourself. You've got them safely locked up, haven't you? No, they're dead. I guess we'll never know then. If you're in some kind of trouble, go talk to Lord Andre. Maybe he can help you. You'll find him in the barracks. How's the situation? At the moment, it's quiet. Only the bandits outside the city are causing us problems. What do you know about the bandits? They've all come from that blasted mining colony. But there are several splinter groups. Some are holed up in the mountains, and others have joined up with Ona, the landowner. But it's the bandits outside of town who cause the most problems. They're the reason that none of the merchants venture beyond the city gates now. Where did the bandits who had my wanted poster come from? We picked them up near the landowner's place. But they didn't look like Onar's people. I think they're part of a smaller group which is holed up in the mountains near Onar's farm. But if you intend to go there, let me warn you. Those cutthroats make short work of everyone. I'll remember that. How's the situation? At the moment, it's quiet. for an injury. I'm looking to become an apprentice. Really? And with whom are you going to sign up? I want to sign up with you as an apprentice. With me? No! I have already had the dubious pleasure once of grappling with an apprentice. That's quite enough for me. I invested several years in his education. And in the end, the poor fool up and poisoned himself. Go sign up with one of the other masters. What will I have to do to become your apprentice? <sighs> I couldn't bear yet another dilettante on my conscience. There is a multitude of herbs out there. Used in different variations, they develop the most diverse effects. You probably don't even know half of them. This is a list of the most important plants. Bring me a plant of each kind, and I might reconsider taking you in as an apprentice. About the plants... If you cannot handle that by yourself, you won't be any good as an alchemist either. I see. I want to sign up with one of the other masters. You? have come to ask my approval? Hmm. As far as I'm concerned, you can sign up with whoever you like. Show me your wares.
gives you 100 gold pieces. Ed, did she cause any problems? None to speak of. Good. You've held up your part of the deal. Help me sign on as an apprentice with one of the masters. Don't worry. I'll keep my part of the bargain. The other masters will only hear the best about you from me. had 100 gold pieces. What? The brazen little serpent. That was my gold. She took it from my chest. Give it back to me. I have to pay off Lamar first. Mateo can get his money later. I've already given Mateo his gold. Damn. Oh well. A debt is a debt. At least you didn't keep the money. I guess I should thank you for that. Can you teach me how to pick locks? You have paid Gritta's debt with Mateo. You seem to be a decent fellow. I shall teach you what you want to know. However, I cannot do it for free. I still have a mountain of debts, and I need the money. How much do you charge? 200 gold pieces. Fine, here are 200 gold pieces. You're still a few coins short of 200. I need that money. I'll never get this open without the right key. I do for you. I've got this stone tablet. Can you tell me more about it? Those are artifacts from the old culture which we have been investigating for some time. There are several kinds of them. Some contain information about the history of the ancient people, and that is the kind I am interested in. Bring me all of those that you can find. I shall give you an appropriate reward. Tell me about the Ring of Water. And why would I do that? Cavalorn sent me to you. And what did he tell you? He said you're in dire need of more good people. Aha. Uh -huh. So, you want to join us, son? Here, I've got a letter for you. For me? Indeed. This is an important message you are bringing me. I wonder how you got hold of this letter. I got it from Cavalorn, the hunter. Cavalorn? Where is he? He told me to tell you he couldn't make it and is headed for the meeting point. Whatever he meant by that. I see that you have gained Cavalorn's trust. That speaks in your favor. I'm asking your blessing. Why should I give you my blessing, stranger? I want to start an apprenticeship with one of the masters in the lower part of town. Go with the blessing of Adonos, my son. Where can I find a priest of Inos? The best thing would be to look around the marketplace. You will find an emissary of the monastery there.
Can you teach me something about magic? Only the Chosen of Innos and the Chosen of Adonis are permitted to work rune magic. But common mortals can also work magic with the help of spell scrolls. I can show you how you can channel and expand your magic powers. Can you heal me? Adonis, bless this body. Free it of its wounds and strengthen it with new life. Tell me about the gods. What exactly would you like to know? Tell me about Beliar. Beliar is the dark god of death, destruction, and all things unnatural. He is an eternal battle with Innos, but Adonis guards the balance between the two. Only a few humans follow the call of Beliar. However, he grants great strength to those who do. It's no secret. Tell me about Adonis. Adonis is the god of the center. He is the scales of justice and guardian of the balance between Innos and Beliar. He commands the power of change. His gift is the water in all the oceans, rivers, and lakes. His priests are the water mages, just as I am a servant and priest of Adonis. Tell me about Innos. Very well. Innos is the first and highest god. He created the sun and the world. He commands light and fire. His gifts to humanity. He is law and justice. His priests are the magicians of fire. The paladins are his warriors. Can you heal me? You do not require healing magic at this time. I want to increase my magic powers. Tell me about the Ring of Water. And why would I do that? I want to make a donation to Adonis. A donation to the Church of Adonis would alleviate a part of the sins which you may have committed, my son. How much can you give? I haven't got anything to spare right now. That is not a problem. You can act upon your good intentions later, my son. I want to join the Ring of Water. You do? That means you have already fulfilled the first requirement. What do you mean by that? I mean, there must be someone among us who trusts you. Otherwise, you wouldn't even know about it. But I know nothing about you at all. What do you want to know? Well, you would tell me where you come from and why you have come to the city. I carry an important message for the leader of the paladins. What is this message? I'm staying out of it. A large army is gathering as we talk, led by dragons and determined to conquer the country. Dragons? You speak of beings which until now have only been mentioned in legends. How do you know this? No, I heard rumors somewhere. Aha! And that is why you have made this journey. Who are you, really? I'm a former convict from the penal colony of Corinus. Good. Let us summarize. You are a former prisoner who heard rumors that dragons have come to conquer the country. And you have come to report this to the palace. I think there's something you're not telling me. If you're worried I might pass on what you tell me, then let me reassure you. I have sworn to keep all secrets I am entrusted with to myself. Let's start over at the beginning. What's that message? Terrible things are bound to happen soon. Terrible things, hmm? How do you know this? Zardas, the magician, told me. He sent me to warn the paladins. The necromancer? 
So he lives, and he sent you. Who are you really? I'm a former convict from the penal colony of Carinus. Good. Let us summarize. You are a former prisoner who has been told by Zardas, the necromancer, that terrible things are going to happen. And you have come to report this to the Paladins. I think there's something you're not telling me. If you're worried, I might. I have sworn to keep. Let's start a. A lot dragon? Zot. I know that. I'm a for. Good. Let it. You are a former prison who has been told by Zard that dragons have. And you have come. That all sounds rather fantastic. But I cannot perceive that you are lying to me. Therefore, I must assume that your motives are honorable. I want to give you a chance to join the Ring of Water. Tell me about the Ring of Water. Since you are not yet a member of our community, I cannot tell you everything, of course. But I shall tell you what I may. Who are the members of the Ring of Water, then? I cannot tell you that until you join the Ring. But you will certainly have met some of them by that time. Where are the other water mages? They are exploring the ruins of an old culture northeast of Corinthus. We suspect that those ruins might contain a passage to a part of the island which is as yet uncharted. Tell me more about that uncharted area. If you are interested in joining the expedition, I could send you to Satyrus with a letter. You can only participate, of course, as long as you're one of us. Of course. What exactly is it that you do? We stand between the Order of Innos and the Chaos of Beliard. If one of the two sides should gain the upper hand, it will mean either total loss of freedom or deadly chaos. Therefore, we guard the balance between the two. That's what makes life in this world possible for all. And what does that mean in concrete terms? The fall of the barrier has evoked numerous threats. The bandits are probably the most obvious one. Not only has it become all but impossible to travel the island without being attacked, there's someone in town, too, who supports the bandits. We have found out that the bandits receive regular deliveries from a weapons merchant in Corinus. We try to find such people and keep them from endangering the city. If you can find out anything about this, let me know. About this weapons dealer, how much do you know about the weapons dealer? Ask Martin, the Provisions Master of the Paladins, about this. He should be able to tell you more. He has been tasked with unmasking the weapons dealer. You can find Martin in the Harbor District. If you see a heap of crates, provision, and paladins, Martin won't be far. What must I do in order to join the ring? Know that you take on great responsibility by joining the ring. I do not let just anyone join who comes to us and asks. If you want to join the ring, you will have to prove that you act like one of us. And that means? Before we let a young man join our ranks, he must have done a great deed for the ring. Only then can I begin to consider letting you help preserve the balance of forces on this island. I have vanquished the sleeper. Isn't that a great enough deed? My ears hear many a tale these days, including the story about the banning of the beast called the sleeper. I have not heard that this was achieved by a single man. Although your eyes tell me that you are convinced you did this, that confuses me slightly. But I cannot be sure that my senses might not deceive me sometimes. I have freed many people. The barrier is gone. Even if you can really claim responsibility for that, 
the great event in the Valley of Mines has not only set free the water mages and other upright citizens. All the criminals of the entire country are roaming Corinus these days, harassing the population. The bandits have already taken over large areas of land outside the city. It has become all but impossible to leave the town and return unharmed. So what would be an appropriate deed that might convince you? Corinus is facing a great enigma these days. The number of people missing from the town seems to increase almost daily. If you can explain to me what happened to them, you shall have your place within the Ring of Water. However... Yes? You should take your message to the Paladins first. I consider it a matter of utmost importance. Talk to Lord Hagen. But Lord Hagen is not going to receive me. Yes, he will, no doubt about it, provided you become a member of a powerful community first. The Ring has far-reaching connections. We shall assist you in conveying your message as soon as possible. You should talk about this to Laris, whom I trust. He will help you. What community should I join? There are only three communities that have enough influence. These are the city militia, the monastery of the fire magicians, and the troop of mercenaries on the landowner's farm. The choice is yours, son. Laris can certainly assist you with this difficult decision. Talk to him about it. I shall do that. About those missing people. Yes? Where should I start looking for them? Most of those people disappeared down by the harbor. That's probably where you should start your search. Let me tell you what I know. What have you found out? Nothing important so far. Is there anything that could help me with my search? You're a very persistent young man. But I actually can think of something that could make your tasks easier for you. I shall give you this ore amulet. You'll certainly be able to use it. It is an amulet of the searching Will-o'-the-Wisps. There are only very few of them. The Will-o'-the-Wisp that inhabits this amulet has very special properties. It can help you find things that normally elude the naked eye. You summon it by simply wearing the amulet. If it loses its power or cannot find it, simply put on the amulet again and it will reappear. The Will of the Wisp can detect weapons. It could be very helpful to you in investigating the weapons deliveries to the bandits. Treat it well and it will never fail you. A Will of the Wisp in an amulet? Will of the Wisps are admirable creatures. They consist of pure magical energy. They are bound to the magical ore in this world. It is their origin. It gives them their strength. I'm not surprised that you've never heard of them. They only appear to the person who bears the ore to which they belong. Will-o'-the-wisps living in the wild have been forcefully removed from their sources. They will attack anyone who approaches them. There is no way to help those pitiful creatures. You would better stay away from them. Can the Will of the Wisp do more than that? More than look for close combat weapons. Not unless you teach it. I think Riordian knows how to teach these beings. He is one of us, currently traveling with Saturns. Perhaps he can tell you more. Thank you. I shall take good care of it. Wait, if you see Laris, give him this ornament and tell him that it needs to be returned. He'll know what to do with it. <laughs> 